All right, I want to do a video on Roman Catholicism. The reason why is because there's so much stuff in the news recently about the Pope, ecumenicalism, and just all the sex abuse and pedophilia and child abuse in the priesthood. And I want to make it clear that Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. It has nothing to do with biblical Christianity. And what they teach is directly contrary to what the Bible teaches in so many different ways. And the Catholic Church has done more damage to the cause of Christ than any other um, false prophet or, or cult or, or pseudo-Christian cult out there. The Roman Catholic Church has done more damage to the, to the body of Christ and has just stained the name of Christianity to the world through their wickedness. So I'm going to show you examples of how the Bible contradicts Roman Catholic teaching. So first of all, the Bible teaches dispensationalism, that there are different dispensations. The best verse I like to go to to prove that is Ephesians chapter uh, 3, verses 1 to 5. The Catholic Church, they reject this, however, and they teach that the entire Bible is written to the church. The Bible teaches that in this current dispensation, the time of the Gentiles, that we're justified by faith, not by works, by repentance and faith, not by works. The Catholic Church rejects that and teaches that we have that faith and works. And some good verses proving that salvation is not by our works it is Ephesians 2, 8, 9, Titus 3, 5, Romans 4, 5, Romans 5, 1, uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 21, 28. So many scriptures prove that we're not saved by our, our, not saved by our works. You can go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 26, and it says, For you're all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Where does your works fit in there? You know, Titus 3, 5, Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. So uh, we're not saved by our works, but the Catholic Church rejects this and says that we are. The Bible teaches that Christ's sacrifice is finished and it's done. It was finished on the cross. You can see John 19.30 and Hebrews chapter 9 and Hebrews chapter 10. Christ's sacrifice was a one-time event and it was finished. The Catholic Church rejects that, however, and says that it's continued, the sacrifice of Jesus is continued through weekly Mass. This uh, cannibalistic re-sacrificing of Christ every single Sunday at Mass. And it's kind of funny because they supposedly eat the flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. Well, Leviticus chapter 7, I believe it's Leviticus chapter 17, forbids eating flesh and drinking blood. So it's a contradiction there. The Catholic Church, I mean the Bible, sorry, teaches that Christ is our advocate and our mediator before God the Father. That's, uh, it's uh, 1 John chapter 2 verse 1 and I think it's, I believe it's in the book of Timothy. I, I don't remember the verse off the top of my head. But it's in the book of Timothy. I believe it's, uh, yeah, I don't remember the verse off the top of my head. But the Bible teaches that we're just, that Christ is our advocate and our mediator. The Catholic Church rejects this, however, and says that Mary is our advocate before the Father and mediator. The Catholic Church, I mean, the Bible teaches that bowing down to graven images and making graven images is a sin. That's Acts 17, 29, Exodus chapter um, 4, or no, Exodus chapter, sorry, ugh. I'm messing up here. Again, this is not a scripted video. This is just me talking. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5, Deuteron or Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. So many scriptures prove we cannot make graven images. The Catholic Church rejects this, however, and contradicts this by all their graven images they have in their pagan temples. The Bible teaches that we are, that we are basically Christ's righteousness is imputed to us and that basically Christ was a substitute for us on the cross. You can see 2 Corinthians 5 21 and pretty much the entirety of Romans chapter 4 and Romans chapter 5. The Catholic Church rejects this and says that we have to die in a state of grace to be saved and that salvation is basically hinging on us having to you know, die in a state of grace. So those are just some examples of how the Catholic Church contradicts what the Bible clearly teaches. So Roman Catholicism has nothing to do with Christianity. Roman Catholicism is a pedophilic hell damning satanic pagan cult from the councils of satan so anyway don't so if you hear something about the pope doing something just know that the pope does not speak for me and he does not speak for bible believing christians around the world he speaks for a hell damning cult that is damning billions of people to hell so anyway god bless you goodbye